And given the work you've done for the Sky Doco that goes to air on Tuesday night, you'd be the perfect moderator. How much ground did you cover and what did you... I mean, you know Indigenous Australia just about as well as anybody. Uh, what was the impression you got across all those kilometres you did to put together what we're going to see next week? Well, we did travel. We were in Central Australia. We were over on Groot Island in the Gulf of Carpentaria. We were in uh, uh, Canberra, Sydney and Melbourne. We were on Stradbroke Island as well. So we, we covered plenty of territory. Uh, my biggest takeaway from the whole thing, Steve, was the same point I was making just a moment ago, and that is that there is a lack of understanding of exactly what's being proposed. A lot of people don't know what the voice to parliament is. They don't know what it means. I know there's been hours and hours of discussion of this in Canberra, but I think when you get out into the regions uh, and even when you get out into the suburbs in the cities, uh, a lot of people don't have a deep understanding of what's being proposed. So I guess that's the challenge, particularly for the Yes campaign over the next couple of months, is to explain what it is that the voice to parliament is uh, and how it might help address issues, particularly uh, in remote Indigenous communities. You and I have spoken many times uh, both here on Sky and on radio about what happened in Alice Springs and what the situation in Darwin is like. Do people involved in Indigenous communities there that are trying to stop that, particularly the Alice, believe that the voice will make a difference? Look, I'm not sure that your average punter has that belief, primarily because I don't think they know enough about it. I mean, certainly advocates um, for the Yes campaign are trying to make that case. Now, I did a long interview uh, with Noel Pearson as part of this documentary and an interview that will uh, run in full on our voice channel as well. And, and he's probably made the most compelling case that I've heard for how it might help to address some of these issues, that we, you know, get the opinions of the people on the ground when it comes to domestic violence, when it comes uh, to alcohol abuse, when it comes to youth crime, when it comes to many of these other issues uh, that we're dealing with uh, and that we see every day here in the Northern Territory that we get the leaders of those communities at the table with the government to come up with those sorts of ideas. But I'm not sure that argument uh, has been made widely enough yet for people on the ground in those places to say, hey, yeah, this is an idea, we can see how this can work uh, and we can see how it can improve these people's lives. And I, I think that's the challenge ahead of the Yes campaign uh, from here until uh, that referendum is held. Great work, Matt. I look forward to watching on Tuesday night. Matt Cunningham, thank you very much for your time. And I urge everyone watching us to make sure that they tune in at 8 o'clock next Tuesday night. The Voice Australia decides. That is Tuesday night at 8 p.m. And just a reminder, you can see The Voice Australia decides again Tuesday at 8 p.m.